Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to change the management settings of bigger either router or switch or access point. So let's go and see what are the topics that I am going to cover in this lab. The first one is that how to change the router name. So this is one of the very important guys. So to identify your router, always it's recommends to change your router name. The second one is that management port setup. So how to change your default port numbers? For example, if you want to change the telnet port, or if you want to change the default port for HTTP, or HTTPS, or SSH, or TR69, or FTP ports, how you are going to change it? So due to some reasons, most of the time we don't keep the same default ports. For example, if you are going to take, for HTTP, there is a port number 80, and HTTPS, there is a port number 443, for telnet, there is a port number 23. So most of the people, they are aware of it. But due to some security reasons, I want to change these port numbers. Then how to change these port numbers? Then after that, internet access control. Actually, internet access control is nothing but if you want to access your Dretech device from outside, then how you are going to enable from internet to access? That means, for example, you are not in your office, you are outside of your office, and you want to access your device for temporary. So that time, how you are going to provide the access to your device from outside? But it's not recommended, guys. It's always recommends that use your SSL VPN and connect to your internal network. After that, you can access your router. That's the best way to do it. But for emergency purpose, if you want to access, how you are going to do it. And same time, by default, you are not able to ping your public IP. So in case for testing purpose, if you want to allow that, how you are going to allow the ping from outside, as well as how to change your admin password and how to change the time and date. And I'm going to show it to you how to take the backup as well and how to restore it. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this lab. And by the way, I'm going to take Vigor 2925N. This is the router that I'm going to take as an example in this lab. And I'm going to show it to you all these topics step by step. So first, let's go and access your Vigor 2925. As you know that the default IP address for Vigor 192.168.1.1 and the default username is admin and default password is admin. Let's go and have a look. So open the browser, then type the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. Then if you see here, the default username is admin and default password is admin. Click on login. So once you log in at first time, you can able to see this warning guys. Your router is still set to default password. You should change it via the system maintenance menu. So it's always recommends that change the default password. It's not recommend to use the same password as your admin. So just click on OK. Now you can just go to the system maintenance. Then after that, you can see here there is a management. Click on the management and change the router name. So to change the router name, I'm going to specify as dvcom like office gateway. So this is what I'm going to change the name. Then after that, you can simply click OK. Then after that, it's prompt to you, use the current configuration. No issues, you can just click on OK. But keep it, remember guys, don't select the second one. If you select it, it's going for factory reset. So just click on OK. So just open the command prompt and check how much time it's going to take to come back. So just, you can keep it down. Yeah. Now you can see here, I lost one ping. And I lost my second ping and third ping I got it reply back again. So minimize this window guys. So just refresh it here. Click on login. Now you can able to see the name of your router, DVCom Office Gateway. So because why this is very important, sometimes if you have a multiple locations and you have bigger routers are there, so to identify each and every location, what's the name for which location you are trying to access it, if you change the router name, it's easy for you. That's why we are going to change. So now the second topic is that, just go to the system maintenance and how to change the default port numbers. If you see here, just go to the management and by default, the telnet port is 23. The HTTP port is 80. HTTPS port is 443. So right now I'm accessing my device through HTTP port without any, you understand any, the specific port. But I want to use it as a port number 8080. So this is what I'm going to give. 
and for HTTPS port, I want to give you as a different port number. But I just want to give you double four, double four, guys, for you to understand. Then after that, you just go down and click OK. Now you just click OK now. It's going to reboot and it's come back. So let's go and see here how much time it's going to take. So I lost one packet. One more packet. Within 10 seconds, I'm going to reply it here. Yes, I got the reply from a router. Just refresh it now. So just specify the username as admin and password as admin. Now if you see here, by default, it has selected as port number 8080, guys. So I'm, and I'm trying to access this device through HTTP. That's why I got this message. Now let's go and access my router through HTTPS. So just click here HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 and double four double four is my HTTPS port. See here, there is a warning. So don't worry about this one guys. Just click on advanced, then accept the risk and continue. Then you can specify the username and password. Now it's HTTPS guys. See here, there is a lock symbol over that. So just click on username as admin and password as admin. Then click on login. See here. This is what how you are going to access it. So now I'm going to show it to you how to enable the device to access from outside. So just go here, click on the system maintenance, then click on the management. Then after that, you can see here internet access control. Allow management from the internet. So if you want to allow your device to manage from outside, just enable this. Then I'm going to access through HTTPS. And if you notice one more thing, disable ping from the internet. So which means if anybody trying to access, I mean anybody try to ping your device, then by default, they cannot able to ping your public IP. But if you want to allow them to ping the public IP, just you can uncheck this. Then after that, you can just go down and say, okay, now your device is accessible from outside. But it's always recommended, as I told you earlier, it's not recommended to enable this feature, guys. Keep in your mind. It's a security risk. So that's why if anybody wants to access your device from outside, it's always recommends. Just give the SSL VPN access. Then ask them to connect to your SSL VPN so that they can use the SSL VPN username and password and they can access to your device. Yeah. Just you can go down and simply can click OK. Say OK now. So now click on OK. Now your device, you can able to access it from outside. Even you can able to ping also. So let's go and see here. Again, there is a three packets is going to drop. As usual, it's going to come back within 10 seconds, guys. There you go. That's it. Say refresh now. And enter the username as admin and password as admin. Then click on login. I don't want to save this. So the next very important that I just want to show it to you. By the way, I want to do this test, guys, right? So what's my IP address for my MAN interface, which is 192.168.254.180. So let's go and check the ping. So let's stop this. So I'm going to give you ping 192.168.254.180. I have a successful ping, so nothing to worry. In case if you don't enable that, then you are not able to, you know, ping guys. So that's why you need to enable this. This is only for testing purpose only. The next one is that I just want to show it to you how to change the time and date. So go to the system maintenance, then click on time and date. Then you can see here, by default, it has selected as a Dublin. So based on your country, you can select the time zone guys then it's automatically sync with your global NTP server, which is pool.ntp.org. So just click here, and I belongs to Dubai, so I'm going to select GMT plus four. If you see here, there is the Abu Dhabi and Muscat, then after that, you can click OK. That's it, guys. Then automatically, it's going to show it to you the right date and time, so you have nothing to worry. And if you want to take the backup, just click on the configuration backup. 
then you can see here there is a backup and there is a restore so just click on backup see here it got the backup then by default it's going to store it to you in your windows downloads folder so to restore it just click on the browse then you can select the file then click on restore then automatically it's going to be restored so this is what how you are going to do and in case if you want to change your default admin password just click on administrator password then after that enter the old password which is admin then specify the new password it's always recommends guys give the complex password and make sure that uh, people they cannot able to guess your password so that's why don't give your pet names or your regular passwords and all so it's always recommends that provide the complex password so i'm going to give you temporary some complex password here and confirm the same password then click ok now now for the testing purpose just log out and try with the default password admin and default password as you know that admin then click on login now you can see here the username or password you entered is incorrect so I am going to enter the right username and password now then click login there you go I can able to access my appliance so this is what how you are going to do the basic settings guys so these settings most of the time you need to change it it's very important to change all these settings so to change these settings always you have to go to the system maintenance then you can able to see all these settings guys yeah so for any kind of uh, business related stuff you can just always send us an email sales at datawise.com if you need any support you can send us a mail support at datawise.com and subscribe our youtube channel so that you can able to see the latest updates so thank you for watching this video